everyone, welcome back to fifth week of the calendar painting tutorial. This week is an interesting one because we are making this sunlight through the leaves painting, which is one of my favorite and very exciting to make, but nonetheless very uh, probably the hardest to make in this painting kit. Uh, so as usual, uh, the things you need to prepare is a mixing palette, your brushes, a clean glass of water. Uh, your tissue paper or paper towel that you usually use to clean your brushes and your paints um, So let's start. Okay, so this week's painting would be would take quite a long time to make but I'll try to make it shorter um, This is the original painting that I will be using as the reference pick for this week But I don't think it will be caught in frame the camera so, um, so with our paints the first thing we're gonna do is as always to wet the paper with a big brush just wet the whole thing but don't let the water run too much So with a bigger brush, um, now what we're gonna do is try, uh, we're gonna make the background color first, which is mostly wet on wet, but we're gonna try to paint it outside the leaves, because I did, painting this I didn't use a masking fluid and leave the sunlight white and not paint inside it. So. It's just a mixture of a mixture of yellow and light orange and dark gray. Um, so here are some some yellows. It's okay for light colors to. put light colors we can just easily cover it up with the leaves but the tricky part here is to paint outside the leaves for the darker parts because of course we I don't think we'll be able to cover it up I'm just gonna make a light orange Just a very soft wash color. Then I'm gonna make a light gray. My great concern here is the for the colors to not for the leaves to not be able to see through if we make too much if we if the background color is too dark because I used a different brand of paint to make this and it's quite opaque so um, I'm gonna try and improvise a bit and try to make it so. This part is just adding colors. Some parts darker than the rest. Mm, 
just leave, just the important thing is to just leave the sunlight there. Add more yellow. Just with a damp brush, you can always mix it up so the lines are not too visible. I'm going to make a lighter dark brown to add some here and there. If you want to make a dark black, pure black from paint gray and you can always mix it with a dark brown or in this case burnt umber to make the to make black. Because paint gray is has a cold undertone and black obviously have a cold a warm one. This might take a while to perfect. Um, I think I'm satisfied with how this looks and we just need to wait for this to dry alright now that the background is completely dry uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, obviously start with leaves but we are gonna start with the sunlight first this is this is always the first thing we're gonna do is the sunlight so grab a smaller brush and we're gonna start with yellow. Yeah, so with yellow, we're just gonna cover this part. And then after we cover the leaves, one leaf, uh, we're gonna use a damp brush. Use a damp brush and just mix this so the line won't be visible. So it's like it's slowly disappearing into the light because that's how it is. And we're just gonna mix a light orange color. this again then maybe slide brown color to 
just use this wet on wet wet technique to mix this and we're done with one leaf so we're just gonna repeat this process with the other leaves around which is basically just cover the color first and then with a damp brush we're gonna mix this and that's basically it so I'm just gonna go and go ahead and paint the remaining leaves in this earth that surrounds the sunlight Okay, now that the sunlight is done, um, we are going to move on to make the remaining leaves. Uh, I don't have much explanation about how to make this since uh, it's basically just uh, following the outlines of the leaves and we're mostly using a wet on wet technique. On the leaves, I'm going to show you how I make it. I'm going to show you one leaf. But Mixing an orange here. Just let the wet on wet technique flows and just it's basically a mix of colors. There we go, this is basically how one leaves look. And we're just gonna move on and make the others. Just a quick wet on wet techniques here and there. So cover the whole leaves with water first and then just put the colors and let the colors mix by themselves because we're playing with light here so um, there's no particular way the light should look like so um, some of the leaves would look like slightly transparent due to the light how the light hits the leaves so that's what we're playing at here so uh, I think the wet on wet technique works well with this kind of light painting because we're just gonna let it flow freely since the light is usually unpredictable um, painting it is so much fun but yes this takes quite a long time to make and we're done with the second leaves um, we're just gonna keep going and make this until to the branches. Okay, um, one more thing about the branch here. We want to make the branch slightly disappear as it goes through the light. So while we make this, 
we're just gonna use the damp brush and do the same thing like we did with the sunlight just blend it in so it looks like it disappears when it hits the light um, okay let's just start painting the whole thing
Okay, so now uh, I've, we finished the leaves. Um, this whole process took me about 20 minutes to make. Um, now we're moving on to the tiny details on the leaves, which is their the leaf veins. Um, basically, we're just basically using the color brown and then just make some tiny details. water um, so yeah this that's it and Next with dark grey, we're gonna make the darker parts around the edges of the leaves. This is like uh, how the leaves are folded and here, like for this one for example, is how the leaves like um, are in front of each other and this is, this would make it look transparent. So yeah, we're just going to add some here and there. Just tiny spine details to the leaves. leaves finally okay so the next part is just we're gonna make the like the light effects or, or we call it the bokeh effects um, I use like I use a white quatch but here I'm gonna try a mix of quatch later and just white paint so just make circles and change brushes circles some kind of transparent some more more opaque than the others this is how I make the effects see this one's transparent which is would be in the back Touches of the painting that kind of makes the whole thing pop. Looks more, mm, dare say, I say magical. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make some transparent white effects. That's the first part, and then we're gonna make it more opaque. 
which with less water. circles yeah I'm gonna make a slightly yellow I'm definitely snapping. Um, so yeah, guess we're done with this painting. I hope it's actually very hard to make the exact copy of a painting, but uh, this is how I made it. More or less how I made it. Um, so yeah. so far and it's really hard to make an exact copy of the original one and I wish to change some things like I wish the background was darker and stuff but um, this video is just to explain the basic things on how to make this um, so I hope you enjoy it and see you next week for the last week of this painting tutorial thank you for watching